Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Corsair Vengeance LED memory kits. Now, I've got the uh, white and red here for obvious reasons. I've got a, um, I do like my white and red. And they have just launched a blue kit as well. So when you see these, um, you can, you will be able to get a gist for what the blue are going to be like as well. Although I will show you some pictures that I've got from them. But most important thing is memory kit DDR4. They come in a range of capacities and speeds. They go from 2666 up to 3466 and they come in 8 and 16 gigabyte dim. So I've got 4 times 8 here for 32 gigabyte, but you can also get a 32 gig kit in uh, two times 16 rather than the four times eight so range of capacities range of sizes you um they do do two times eight kits two times 16 kits blah 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 blah, blah. you can get loads more info on uh, their website but they're already in e-tailers and stuff all over the place when you do open them inside simple blister pack nothing really to get excited about uh, usual kind of small box but what i have done is i have some out here ready and what i have got is the white and the red now they um they've got quite an aggressive kind of feel to the um heat sink that's out on the outside you can see that this top bit is actually separate to the bottom bit uh, it does still have a vengeance kind of feel if you remember what the the old vengeance looked like they come in a range of uh, sizes and stuff as well but the most important thing with these was the fact that you could switch the tops around or take them off so what they've done with these you can kind of you do see the styling cues that they've uh, taken from it if i was to Put that there like you can see where they've gone with it but rather than uh, the colored tops we now have our uh, led strips down inside now uh, just to give you kind of a, a quick look the only real difference between them is you can see that we've got the led color is shown but obviously when it comes to LED, um, uh, memory stuff like this especially when it's led you want to see it lit up Okay, so if you get the memory, you'll need the latest version of Corsair Link. I think it's version 4.3. Uh, and then you're up in the top corner, you can see here that we've got the LED option. And just here it says DRAM. The options are a bit limited at the moment in that we've just got static and default. Uh, you can change the brightness though. Uh, but there are going to be a lot more options. This is literally like their first um, uh, public release of the software for this, but they are going to be doing a lot more stuff. At the moment, at this present moment in time, I do know that this software only seems to work on Z170, but X99, they say it's going to be within the next few weeks. So I'm a little bit early with my review. I would probably have preferred to have left it a little bit longer. Um, but maybe we can make a short video on Rushkit or something later on when we've got different lighting options. Now, talking of lighting options, I know that the camera is not going to show how red they are. That literally is like a devil red. Um, I've got some uh, pictures that I took with my DSLR, but even that was struggling to show the, the red up. This camera, it's just kind of a bleach in the mouth a little bit. But I did say before that we can turn the brightness down so we can do that. And they do kind of dim down a little bit. Again, the camera's still not going doing that well. There we go, we've gone down a little bit there. To be honest with you, I would say when they're turned down that much, they're a little bit faint. And in the eye, in a dark room, when they're on their brightest, they're not that uh, intrusive, but they look so good. They've got a real kind of 80s feel to them. Uh, the best way I can explain uh, the red was if we, we'd used all red, because I'm obviously trying to show the colours off here, this would almost look like um, the talking panel for Kit from Knight Rider. Um, in the uh, default mode, they've just got a random flash to them. You'll see them go off now and then they'll start to come on and they'll eventually end up being out of sync. Um, so really, I would say, uh, personally, I would leave them on the static mode. Uh, but it will be nice to see uh, what different options that we're going to be able to get at a later date when they start bringing all the extra ones in. But to be honest with you, I think when you first connected them up, they should just be on and then that would have saved any problems and then later on they can work on the software but i think they should have been forced on from the factory and that would have made a lot of sense 
So then, the Corsair Vengeance LED, uh, we're going to give it the Exceptional Aesthetics Award. I think really the original uh, Vengeance, a lot of people did like them, they did like the design, so kind of trying to evolve that on. Uh, it was a pretty tough task to be honest with you, they could have just gone with normal heat sinks on the top and just updated them, but I do think the LEDs have had a, added a really nice touch to them. Uh, the, the red, I know my camera is going to let me down on this one, but please do take my word for it when I say that the red is absolutely spot on. You may think it's really easy to get a red LED right, but you'd be amazed how many times in the past it's been a bit washed out, been a bit pink, not been quite there. And especially when the, uh, the shroud around the outside is white when it's off because it's just got like a frosted effect to it, as you've seen earlier on in the video, to get the red to come through so strong was brilliant. Now, uh, if you don't like them too bright, you can turn them down. My only real quibble is the fact that they have been here a little while because I've been waiting for the software to come out. I do think from the factory, they should just be fixed on so that you don't necessarily need to install software to do it because when you buy them, they do come and they will flash out the box, which is annoying. And it's also why I've not made a video. Um, so you have to install the link software, go in, manually turn them on, and I think that's all a little bit of a, a fuss. I think it would be great if you could go have the software so that you can change the modes, but just on all the time would have been perfect, and I think that's probably what most people are going to end up doing with them anyway. So we've got the red and the white. They look the absolute bomb together. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased with that, though. Um, you can, if you wanted to buy a two stick kit and mix and match, you, that's fine. Just make sure that you do get the same speed so that if you do want to go in and enable XMP, that they'll run together and there will be no confusion. Um, but obviously there are the blue ones that they've just released as well. And the blue ones that were, were released, but there's, uh, I've not been able to get any in time for me to make this video. But you never know when we, uh, I might, might cover some more modes and stuff on Rush Kit or do something on Instagram or something at a later date uh, when the software gets a little bit more mature and we have more options for the sparkly, you know, whatever they decide to do with them. And I might do some blue then, but I can't make any promises. But to be honest with you, uh, they, they win the extreme ex ex the exceptional aesthetics award just because that red and white combo is so nice together. Um, uh, and yeah, I suppose the only, the only other thing that I've just thought about because I know people are going to be saying is uh, what happens if we want them off? Just turn the um, brightness slider right the way down and then they magically go off. So that is just something in case you don't like the LEDs and you do just want them to go off completely, you can force that with that one. So that's something for you to think about as well. But I love them. I love the combo. I don't think I really need to say uh, any more about that really wide range of um, capacities. You've got a lot of different uh, speeds available to you as well. Like I've said, 2666 up to 3466. People may be saying about overclocking in performance. With memory, it's kind of difficult to bench them because just a BIOS change can make such a drastic difference up or down for memory. You end up having to have a completely static system to test everything on. Um, and with overclocking, it is a bit of a silicon lottery because uh, some sticks that you might get might overclock really well. But at the end of the day, you should buy the memory stick that you want out of the box, and then anything else is a bonus. But I will say that the uh, 3200 kits that I have here, I have been able to get them to, to XMP boot 3400 megahertz and run as you would expect them to at those speeds as well. The one thing that I will say is when you do try and increase stuff like that, you do need to keep in mind that sometimes the other voltages and stuff in the BIOS can need a little bit of a tweak. And also make sure that you do a baseline score um, in something like IDA in the memory benchmark and do a read run. And then as you start overclocking, make sure because they can appear stable, but your scores or the benchmark scores can actually take a dip if you put, push them too much. Now, anyway, I'm not gonna go right into that because we're going into a completely different territory. This has been about the memory. I absolutely love the look of them. Do you? Do you like the red? Do you like the white? Would you prefer the blue? I would love to hear underneath. Uh, and if you do end up getting a, uh, a set of these, you can go and post them in the My Corsair thread on the OC3D forums. But for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with the Exceptional Aesthetics award-winning
Corsair Vengeance LED out. Ding!